intentions when you try to open these closed doors? I can assure you it's simply a transactional relationship. I mean, do you truly believe your little one-inch size paws are prying open a door? I don't think. I know that I am opening the door with my brute strength. Did it ever occur to you that someone with hands was on the other side opening that door for you? Mmm, yeah, no, it's definitely me. What about when you scratch and meow? Oh, now, that's definitely me sweet-talking the door before I bust it down. We're just friends. Okay, the scratching may blur the lines, but I only learned that from you, you sicko. I platonically scratch and pet you just like every other cat and dog in this world. Geez, somebody gets around. Don't worry. I make sure my hands are washed afterwards. Good. I'm not trying to catch being basic from the others. What about when you just sit outside the door meowing for what appears to be no reason? Easy. I'm just flexing my miracle-making powers and calling out to the hand of God for some help, a.k.a. Thor. Ah, you think I'm God. Cool. If you don't believe me. The next time I feel the Bob Marley tingle, I'm going to pound on the floor in a rhythmic fashion with my paw and call up the Brooklyn cockroaches like in Dune. Ew. Try me, I dare you. Side note, if you ever went into music, the Brooklyn Roaches would be a really dope band name. Whoa, you're right. That name slaps. You're not cool enough to say anything slaps. I mean like the Brooklyn Roaches would slap Josie and the Pussycats right out of the way. All right, all right, calm down. No one is slapping anybody. Don't underestimate my slapping powers. I could slap a door down without the hand of God. (laughs) 